What's up everybody? It's your boy Steve from the Watch Corner and this morning at about 6.56 we're going to be the State of the Collection Part 6. Now I did a big boo-boo in Part 5. You know I had my watch box <clears throat> with my Casios and you know Solars and my Citizens in the top box. I never showed the bottom tier of it. I thought of that when I was taking my five mile exercise walk yesterday. It was bothering me all day. I'm like, you know something? Thanksgiving morning. Happy Thanksgiving, uh, watch fam. I figured I would go ahead and shoot it. So also combined with it will be my Seiko Monster Collection. So let's go ahead and get this camera flipped around and start this part six. Okay, before we get started, quick wristwatch check, and yes, I'm wearing the Breitling Blackbird, which is definitely slowing down now. All the oils need to get lubricated and worked around, and it's slowing down and doing better now. I love this thing. It's amazing. I love this five-link slanted bracelet. Oh, it's amazing. Honeymoon continues day number 15. So, okay, let's go ahead and start the bottom tier of this box. As you all can see, it does have a bottom tier, and I totally forgot it yesterday. I mean, it was early in the morning, guys, 5-something in the morning, too. I was still drinking my coffee, so. So, first up is the Movado ESQ Chronograph. Now, I have a crazy story to tell with this. This was stolen from me years ago, okay? And my watchmaker, Tony, had one for sale a few years ago. <clears throat> and I bought it and there was no extra links or nothing like that with it and it fit me perfectly It just makes me wonder. I wonder if somehow this is the one that was stolen to me and Tony ended up Years later buying it because I mean I didn't have to take no links out or nothing But this is a very special watch to me. This is one of my grab and goes When I just you know need a watch. I don't have to worry about setting <clears throat> Now here's another interesting one that I bought from Tony you guys know there's a theme going on here Buy a lot of watches from my watchmaker. This is a Magico. Let me, it's got a screw down crown. Let me just get the hands out of the way so you all can see this. So yeah, this has a Myota movement in it. Um, very, very cool blue textured dial. Now this thing's expensive on Amazon because it does come with a watch winder. It's like six or seven hundred dollars. Uh, I seen it on Amazon with the beautiful, like this brown carbon fiber dial. But I love this blue carbon fiber dial with the date window over at the three o'clock. Very, very cool watch. It has the uh, <clears throat> butterfly deployment, which is not push button. It has the you just press it apart. There's no buttons on it, and you have the Miyota movement with the Magico rotor on it. Like I said. It comes with a watch winder, so it's like, I don't know, 600 bucks or 700 bucks. And I seen one because I was trying to get some information on it, but I love it. It's an awesome, awesome watch. Then up we have the watches from across the pond. We have the beautiful rotary Henley, with the beautiful blue sunburst dial, and that has the exhibition case back on it. Love that from the UK. And then, from across the pond, we have the Accurist Open Heart Movement with also the Exhibition Case Back. And these are both rocking the Miyota movements, automatic movements. I love them. Very, very cool. It's cool to have some watches <clears throat> that aren't in the United States. Now, here's another one. I'm going to take it off the pillow that I bought from my watchmaker, Tony. It's a Sterling Original. It's an awesome watch. Has a 24-hour subdial, the running seconds, and then the time. And this is also an exhibition case back. This is a very cool watch. I bought this one, like I said, from Tony as well. It is cool. I like automatic watches the best. You all know that. Now the rest of them are my <clears throat> Islander collection. So. This is the ISL 19, the NH35 movement with the Pepsi bezel on the Jubilee type bracelet. Love my Islanders. Then up next, 
There's the pilot's watch. This is the ISL 54. Rocking that H35. I love this with the exhibition case back. Now, this one comes on a black leather, but I got the bracelet for it. I like bracelets better than leather bands. Then, ISL 58 with the NH36. This is the new with the DLC bezel, fully loom, loomed uh, dial. I love this one, it's awesome. This is his new release with the, like I said, the improved uh, DLC bezel. Love this thing. And probably one of my favorites is the ISL 62 with the NH36 with the Kanji Wave dial. I love this fully loomed dial. And you all know if you've been following me on Instagram, Wake and Bacon Arts just made a wave, beautiful matching bracelet for this. <clears throat> and then the ISL 87 with the NH35, beautiful green. I'm calling that like a hunter green dial. Um, now this one's cool because it's got the the fighter pilot on the back, which these are made in um, Long Island. The company who makes these these fighters are out of Long Island, but you gotta love that. It's awesome. Love that case back. I can't wait till Mark comes out with his new case backs from the winners from his contest. It'll be cool to start getting some of them in the collection, and I believe the runner-ups getting a a case back as well. So it'll be super cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera and go get my monsters. But yeah, I feel so stupid that I didn't show these watches, you know, like, wow. I thought about that when I was walking, but I love this box. Uh, it was on Amazon. It's a real heavy wooden box, but you need the, like the plexiglass or, and, and, and for the solars, it's good. And it stays right in between both my windows. And let me go ahead and stop this and we'll get the monsters and we'll keep this thing rolling. Okay, we have the monsters out now. And I have a tag for them all. We got the SKX779 first generation black monster on the straps code beads of rice. I think it looks amazing on that. This was my first monster watch that I got. <clears throat> I actually got this from Gerard's watches.com. And it did come on the original Seiko braces, but whoever sides it didn't put the, the collars back in, so it was all screwed up. So I wore it on a NATO for a while, I had it on a different strap for a while, and then it ended up on this. <clears throat> a lot of people and their monsters don't like... Now, I just had the tag here, I don't have it, but I do have the first gen orange monster, the SKX781. First gen orange monster, but Tony has it. Because most of you know <clears throat> that I gave AJ Average Joe Watch Review my first generation orange monster when I went up July 4th weekend because a friend of mine on Instagram, <clears throat> Darpa Blows, gave me one that was sitting in his watch in like his dresser drawer for 10 years. It needed a complete overhaul, so Tony has it and, you know, he's going to be working on it. I told him not to take his time because he's a busy man, but he'll be doing that for me. Now we have the second generation SRP. 307 <clears throat> black monster which i was fortunate enough fortunate enough to get this during the beginning of the pandemic in 2020 had a good deal the guy actually purchased <clears throat> this from mark from long island watches um i had to have a new set i mean a, a new hard lex crystal put in it and tony polished up the bracelet because it was kind of banged up a little bit and uh he adjusted the regulation of the time on it, but it honestly really wasn't in too bad a shape. He had to tinker with it a little bit. And I have them all marked, guys. You see, I got the little tags in here now to go with them all. SRP309. <clears throat> and these are the K, not the J's. <clears throat> Beautiful orange. I love this one. The saw tooth, people call them. Same with this, Tony had to tweak it a little bit and polish the bracelet and it's working fine. Now we come over <clears throat> to one that needed a brand new 4R36 movement. They call this the Halloween Monster, the SKXS, I mean, I'm sorry, second generation black monster, but it's called the Halloween Monster, the SRP311. 
Okay, now this is one of the ones where Tony had to put a brand new movement in it because of the mainspring, the hairspring, and some other parts. He couldn't get the assembly pieces, were all jacked up. So this has a brand new 4R36 movement on it. I was fortunate to get two of them off of eBay <clears throat> for about $80 a piece. So this has a brand new movement in it. I love this on the black PVD bracelet. Now probably one of my favorite monsters, and it was hard to get because nobody sells these, is either the Bloody Tooth or the Dracula. This is also <clears throat> a second generation. This is SRP313. This one, when I got <clears throat> the Hard Legs crystal was all jacked up, so for $10 more I got the Sapphire crystal and had Tony put it in it. I bought a brand new bracelet from Mark from Long Island Watches <clears throat> to put on it. And honestly, it came from Italy, and it's actually running pretty good. Tony didn't have to really tweak the regulation of the time on it too much. The guy didn't abuse it. And it came on a cruddy NATO strap when I got it, since I threw that away. <clears throat> now, we're coming up on one that I did buy brand new. Most of these, you know, you can't buy them. They're discontinued, and they uh, command a lot of money if you do buy them brand new. Now, this is the second generation, the black and orange monster. This is the SRP. 315. I just have it on this aftermarket strap. It comes on a rubber. I, I like them <clears throat> on the braces for the most part. I love this. I bought this one, like I said, brand new. Got a real good deal on it. <clears throat> now, another one that I really, really like that's very hard to get, and it's going to be kind of hard to see in this lighting because I know the bezel looks black, but it's not. It's actually blue, and it's easier to see in the sun. This is the Seiko Sea Monster second generation, SRP581. I have it on a uh, a mesh bracelet, but it, it, like I, it comes on a rubber. But like I said, it's hard to see, but that is a blue. Beautiful blue bezel. I love the, the uh, <clears throat> blue on the minutes hand with the white. I love this. And this is hard to get to because a lot of people do not sell it. I know a lot of people put it on the black... Uh, they buy the black bracelet, but that black bracelet is insane. It's like, I think to buy that one, it's like almost $200. I wasn't going to pay $200 for that. So this stainless steel mess goes good. Now here's another one that I bought brand new, another second generation. I own all the second generations, but one, we'll get that in a minute. This is what they call the black ion monster. You can see it has the gold around the indices and all the hands and the crown. This is a second gen SRP583. And um, sorry, this one also had to have a brand new movement in it because the movement was jacked up and Tony needed the same assembly pieces that he needed for the Halloween when he, so I had to buy a brand new movement for it. So it has a brand new 4R36 in it. I love this, it's got the PVD brace loaded. I actually also bought this one brand new, got a really good deal on it. This one for some reason brand new. These two, for some reason, brand new, don't command all the money that the other ones do. So that is the whole entire second generation collection. The only one I don't have, <clears throat> which I will work on getting them, I can get one pre-owned, is the limited edition, uh, they call it the Super Blue. Now it has gold indices and a crown and everything like that, but it's got this Sunburst Blue dial. It's a limited edition, so I will eventually get one of them and then I'll have the whole complete second generation collection. Now this one, I'm not sure exactly of the model. I just, for my tag, I put the model. This is a third gen, my only third generation. White land monster, super, super rare. No one else has even ever seen one. I just put the, uh, the, the, the model number down for one of the other third generation land monster, SNM037. Uh, okay. So that's what I put down on that. <clears throat> but this is beautiful with the white dial. It has screw down crown. You have the, this crown here does the inner rotation of the compass on the bezel. And then this is the screw down crown. It has hand winding and hacking on a stainless steel mess. A heavy duty one I got at the mall. <clears throat> now when I went over AJ's, we popped this back off of it this is not the case back that uh goes on it because it doesn't have look any serial number so somebody polished it off okay 
So this is not the original case back at all. Now let me see if I can zoom in on this. It's the 7S, it says 7, 7S35, it's actually not. <clears throat> okay, I have to change this tag. It's actually the 7S36, which is hand winding and hacking, okay? It's not 7S35. So this case back is wrong for this. And right now I am going to go ahead and put a shot up when we took the case back off to show you that that's not the movement in it. And then I'll... We'll talk about this some more. Okay, so you can see there that it has the hackable hand winding movement in it. The uh, 7S36, not the 3.5. And I'll tell you something interesting. There's a guy named Hero Crazy on Instagram, okay? And he was trying to help me find information about this. I'm trying to show you. There's a scratch on the case back. Right here, it goes all the way across. He found this one, because you can see there's no serial number. He found this one with the scratch going right across on here on a forum or something. It was this watch, my watch. <clears throat> so like I said, this is a mystery on the model. It must have been a limited run. And it has, I had to have the crystal replaced when I got it. It's a Sapphire, it had a chip in it. So this one did come with a Sapphire crystal. When I got it, I had to have that replaced. <clears throat> and I had this band put on, I went to a place in the mall they can get odd crystals that like my watchmaker Tony can't get. I think it cost me around 200 to get this done, but it's worth it. I only paid maybe 300 for this. I got it from Big Lou's Antiques and Rare Treasures. He has some very rare watches, and he knew after he sold it to me, he was he regretted selling it to me so cheap. I want to say I paid 300 maybe 270 because he gives a discount to people. But anyway... I would not let this go in my collection unless someone gave me $5,000 because that's how rare this is. No Seiko Monster Collector has ever seen another one of these. Okay. So I guess if people have them, they're holding on to them. But I've challenged people on Instagram to prove me wrong and nobody has been able to. But I love it. It's not leaving the collection. Now I do have plans. I'm going to put this back on the pillow while we're talking. I do have plans. I want to get the third generation. This is my only third generation. Now, I want to get the the third generations of like the black and the orange. I want to get the the blue coral. I want to get the navy blue and the snow the, the like the, the snowflake one, which have the cyclops at the three o'clock on the date. I do have plans of starting a box, another box for the third gens. Uh, I just haven't worried about them yet because they're expensive. If you get them brand new, they're about twelve hundred dollars for those third generations. If you get them used, they're still about eight hundred, nine hundred. It's ridiculous. Now, this is another very rare one. I bought this from Tony. It's on the beautiful pink camo straps, coast strap with the black PVD buckle. This is the Seiko Land Monster, the fourth generation, the current generation, SRP579. This is very limited and it's very hard to get. And it does have, I'll show you, the exhibition case back. This one is very rare and hard to get. It came on a black leather strap, which is stupid for a dive watch. And you can see it's got the exhibition case back and it's uh hand winding and hacking but um yeah this one's super rare i know somebody commented on on uh instagram they wanted to get one and they can't find it and i'm like yeah it's that rare and it's got the turning uh compass bezel there so this one is super super rare and then here's another one that's hard to find it's a second generation franken Franken Monster now. It's a Seiko 5. SKZ267. The Franken Monster. This is the second generation. The first generation. I want to get one. There is a guy on Instagram. I can get one from. I think he's in France. I could just reach out to him when I want to buy it. But this is super rare. They call it the Franken Monster. Because of, well, the first generation had these, where these little things are here. They were, they were raised. Like, you know, how Frankenstein has the thing on the side of his head. Um, very, very awesome bracelet i came across this one by accident on i believe overstock.com i love the case back on this it's not exhibition this is handing hand winding and hacking um so yeah this is super super cool and these are very rare even with this newer generation to find it's like it's like i don't know i like to get ones that nobody else has and you all know that i am a huge 
huge, huge Seiko Monster fan. So that's all I have. This is my whole Monster collection. I hope you all enjoy this type of content. Please give me the thumbs up. Hit the bell notification so you're notified when I'm uploading. Please leave a comment. Obviously subscribe. We have the 500 subscriber giveaways. We're like 111 away. Hopefully we'll get there by January. It's uh, three prizes sponsored by Sagamon. Brian from Sagamon. Straps Co. Big Lou Macho Massas uh, donated a watch. Men of Zen for the braces. DP Walker donated the cash. So it's going to be super cool. Three prizes. So I cannot wait. I love giving back to the community. And I just want everybody to have a blessed Thanksgiving. We have so much to be thankful for. We really do. And as my friend Jason Hutton says, the owner of Zanea Watches, enjoy every moment. And it's true. You never know when it's going to be your time and you're not going to be here anymore. Just <clears throat> wrap your arms around your loved one. Give them a kiss. Tell them how much you love them because you just never know. None of us are guaranteed our, you know, when our last moment's going to be. And please remember, time is short. Let someone you care about know how much you love them. Everyone have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Watch family.